I'm Alex Farah, and this is the Farahcom YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over how to add in a P25 talk group into your Unication page or profile. So what you'll want to do inside your profile is go to tab 5, which is Group ID Settings. In here, we'll click New to add a new uh, group. So in here, we can put our group alias. So what we'll do is we will go and look at this information from either given to us by our system administrator, or we can go over to radio reference and grab the information from there. So as I've said before, I live under the Fire West area, so I will copy the alpha tag, or you can copy the description. However, just keep in mind that it is character restricted on how many characters are allowed inside the group alias. So we will paste that in there. Then in alert mode, we will change this to none because I don't want to get an alert when this talk group talks. I just want it to talk. If we want it to record everything that goes across there, we will keep that checked. Relay control, remember that again, is if we are connected to our base station, we want this to set off the relay, which can set off station alerting or something like that. Then we can change the color. Since this is a fire department talk group, I will do red. The key alias, this is where you would set the key if you have multiple of them, but since there's only one, it'll just stay with that one that's in there. We will skip the two-tone setting. And we go to the P25T TGID. So going back over to radio reference, we will see that the ID is 13534, so we can just copy that, go back over, paste that in there, and then click OK, and it will automatically define the hexadecimal if you put the decimal, and if you were to put the hex in there, it would automatically define the decimal. Then we can go and add in another talk group. So going back over to our radio reference forum, we are going to be using fire paging, talk group paging in Kent County once we have fully switched over. So I want to get the Kent County all pager. So we will copy this, go back over. Then on this one, I do want a tone, and we will use the default tone. Again, you can change it to any tone, and as you can see, you can play to see which one you are using, but we'll just use the default tone. Voice storage, we want on, background. For this time, we'll do yellow. Remember, the two-tone you can skip. Then... In the setting, we will go back over there and grab, this time we'll grab the hex, just to show you that you can grab the hex too. So we'll change that to hex, control V, click OK. Then over here on the P25T two-tone phase one and two-tone phase two, that's just depending on what type of uh, system this is, either phase one or phase two, which we are a phase one. So if we had two tone through the talk group, we would use this to set our tones. And then same for two tone, two tone uh, phase two would be if we have a phase two system, which we would do not. And then the digital address is if we are looking for a specific person or a specific digital address. Uh, doing that uh, doing that alerting. So once you put those in, you can click save and that will save those settings. So thank you everyone for watching and as always feel free to ask any questions down in the comments below or recommend future topics by visiting our website at paracom.com. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification button to get alerts on future videos to the series.